Bailey Van Tassel here, and I am so excited to show you guys this incredible tool I've been working with. So it's from Garrett Wade, and it is a soil blocker. This guy has revolutionized the way I start my seeds, and I'm so excited to show you how to use it. It was designed by this botanist years ago, and it's the most sustainable way to start seeds, really, because all you need is your soil mixture, which I will teach you about, and your little tool, and you make these perfectly incredible little soil blocks that take the hassle out of plastic trays, which can often end up um, with low germination, or your roots can become root bound, also that's wasteful, and it's just a whole host of things. Soil blocking eliminates all of that, and it's super fun and easy. So, we're gonna take our soil blocker, and you're literally just going to put it into your soil mix. Mine is made up of just basic garden soil with some, a little bit of coconut core or peat moss, something to create some fluffiness. And then we've got perlite, which are these little white rocks that create a ton of yummy air. And then we've got some blood meal and fish bone um, that just gives really good nutrients for your seedlings as they develop. So once you get that mixed up, you want this perfect moisture that gives your soil this sort of stick togetherness that you need so that it'll stay in your soil blocker. So let me show you what you do. You're literally just gonna take this and put it into your soil sort of as far as you can. Give it a little, a little bit of muscle so that the soil sticks in there and you're gonna scoop it up a little bit so that the soil doesn't fall out. Sometimes I just encourage my soil blocks with a little, little pat on the back so that the soil sticks in there when I put it in my tray. But that's why the moisture level is really important is so that your soil blocks stay as blocks. I'm gonna take this over and put it in my tray right next to the other guys. And this is where you actually utilize the tool. You're going to push down and squeeze down the soil. It'll create little indentations, perfect for your seeds. So you see here, there are little tiny holes and we're gonna put our seeds in there. It's as simple as that. So you just make a bunch of these soil blocks to get your seeds ready for the season and you're good to go. The next step is going to be adding our seeds. Now I have a few things going on. I've got, we're gonna start actually some cucumber and some peppers here. And we're also going to I've got another round, I'm succession sowing a couple things here. So I've got this little seed organizer that I love, keeps things straight for the season. I've always got a lot of things going on. But in the front here is where I keep what I'm doing now and then the succession sowing I keep back here. So these plants that I specifically wanna start inside are ones that don't like their roots to be disturbed or that need to be under a light with some heat. These peppers can be a little hard to germinate. These are sugar rush peach peppers. And so that's why they are ideal for the soil blocks. I'm actually just gonna put one seed per block for these guys. And you just plop them right in. And then you'll cover them with a little bit of that yummy garden soil. It's so light and perfect. And the other benefit of these soil blocks is it really encourages you to water from below. So since they're in one of these handy trays, which by the way, you can use a plastic tray or whatever you want, watering from below is really ideal. So the soil soaks the water up and as the roots develop, that's what brings up your water as opposed to watering down on top. It just helps your plants develop stronger. And that's it. So we'll just start a couple more of these pepper plants and we'll be set. Easy as pie. I hope this has been helpful. I really think if there is one tool you need at the beginning of spring, it's a soil blocker. And yeah, I hope you guys get to use one and good luck with your new seed babies. This spring is gonna be the best we've had.